Well, we do have new details tonight as we switch gears about the suspect in last month's tragic shooting at the University of Virginia. And that's where we find 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith, who is live in our digital center tonight with the latest. Good evening, Olivia. Good evening, Rachel Heather. Well, we have new insight into just how many weapons Virginia State Police say they found when searching the suspect's dorm room in the hours after that deadly shooting. This, combined with previous recorded complaints against the suspected killer, raising questions about the university's earlier investigations. Mr. Jones came to the attention of the University of Virginia's threat assessment team. In the fall of 2022. Court documents obtained by the Daily Progress revealing new information about the weapons found in the dorm room of University of Virginia shooting suspect Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. A semi automatic rifle and a device designed to increase its firing speed, along with ammunition and a pistol. Mr. Jones had made a comment about possessing a gun to a person that was unaffiliated with the university. The morning after the November 13th shooting, university officials addressed the public. Just minutes before UVA Police Chief Timothy Longo spoke at this news conference, documents show Virginia State Police were executing a search warrant at Jones's dorm. The comment about Mr. Jones owning a gun was not made in conjunction with any threats. The Office of Student Affairs followed up with the reporting person and made efforts to contact Mr. Jones. In fact, they followed up with Mr. Jones' roommate, who did not report seeing the presence of a weapon. Charlottesville Mayor Lloyd Snook also sharing a response with 8 News after the findings, saying, I have talked with the parents of a student who was living in Bice, and the parents were horrified to learn that their child was living in the same dorm with someone who felt it necessary to have such a collection of weapons in the dorm. Now, within hours of these documents being released, the clerk of court tells me they were ordered sealed, meaning they can no longer be accessed publicly. Jones is due back in court next week. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Olivia Jake with 8 News.